how do you raise the visibility of health as an issue in the planning world in places like Los Angeles, where the kind of environments we live in matter, the kinds of uh, opportunities we have to get out matter. Poverty and disease and lack of um, amenities to health environment, um, they, these things just go hand in hand in this city. Health has an integrative element. I mean, one of the things that's beneath health is the economy, uh, the environment, access to food. And, you know, essentially everything is about personal health and community health. What's interesting about this is that rather than siloing transit and housing and jobs and hospitals, it's saying that all of that contributes to personal health, it contributes to community health. And the other thing that's sort of beneath that is disassociating the notion of health from simply individual behavior. Certainly, we want everyone to exercise, uh, to not smoke cigarettes, uh, to do all of those things that reflect uh, individual responsible behavior. But what this plan does is basically say that the city's got some structural responsibility for the health of its residents. You can't get something through a multicultural city. You can't get something through a city that's the capital of working poverty. You can't get something through a city that's so marked by environmental injustice unless you're paying attention to equity. For planners in the future, health will be an important integrative element. You're going to need skills for a new kind of participation. And equity is not an afterthought any longer. It is a forethought. It's the first step in the planning process, not the last step.